So trouble in the airs, trouble in the air, trying to breathe, trouble in the atmosphere. Yeah. So <laughs> that's why we're right? checking in with the meteor Chief Meteorologist David Carnes. Hey, Cindy, David. Yeah, fortunately, we're going to get rid of the poor air quality. We're starting yeah. to see that clean out a little bit, but we're also looking at a really good chance of storms and heat over the next couple of days. Today, we we're forecasting 94 before the rains came in, got up to 91. $280 now in the three degree guarantee jackpot. You can register to win it all at local3news.com slash three dash degree. And we'll have one more day to maybe add another $10 in onto that. Uh, we're forecasting 95 for your high tomorrow. It's going to be a little tricky tomorrow. We're going to have storms moving in. So again, we have that air quality improving. Those storms, when they move in, that's going to be really determinant on if we're able to hit that high of 95 degrees. If they move through during the heat of the day, then yeah, maybe we don't get that hot. Saturday, we are trending drier. So I do think we'll have some pretty dangerous heat and humidity to deal with on Saturday. 74 Chattanooga, 70 in Cleveland, 74 in Dalton, 70 Murphy and uh, 70 degrees in Altamont. 91 are high today. Pretty normal for this time of the year, actually. 69 the low this morning. That also fairly, uh, fairly typical. Uh, Sky watchers check in with some uh, low to mid 80s and some of the higher elevations in the valley. We got into the mid to upper 80s, even the low 90s in a few spots. You can see 91 Somerville, 88 Cleveland, 91 Delano, 86 in Rossville, Murphy at 91 and 85 degrees in 10 miles. So here's our future scan, and this is a great looking picture because all of this yellow indicating poor air quality, a lot of smoke from the Canadian wildfires coming down. Now we're looking at more of a westerly wind pushing a lot of that dirtier stuff off to the east. And what we're left with is still some thin smoke overhead. Might see that on and off through the day tomorrow, but it is definitely going to be improving as we move through tomorrow. This is Friday. Now we go into Saturday. Looks even better. So I do think we're going to see a lot of the smoke clearing out over the next couple of days, but we still have storms and we have heat to deal with on Friday and Saturday. Also tomorrow, just at a snapshot, you can see uh, about a 40 to 60% chance of showers and storms for the first half of the day. And then moving through the evening, we'll bump that up to about a 40 to 60% chance through the late afternoon, early evening hours. Again, any air in the timing here, and we may see those showers and storms when we would normally hit the heat of the day. If we don't get enough of a break, it looks like we'll shoot up to 95 degrees. So slight chance of severe weather tomorrow. That's a two out of five on the risk scale. 15% risk of damaging winds and a 5% risk of small hail. So those are the things you're going to be watching for for your Friday. This is Friday morning, 9 o'clock. We have some showers and storms coming down from the north. 10, 11 o'clock, moving down into Chattanooga, parts of North Georgia, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Noon into the early afternoon, those scattered showers and storms continue to work their way southward. And then as we move into Friday afternoon, again, we'll get a little bit of a break before we have more scattered showers and storms moving through on Friday night. Again, Saturday, we're going to trend a little bit drier. I'll drop it down to a 20% chance of showers and storms, but storm alert weather day really for two different reasons at this point. For Friday, it's because of the storms moving through. Because of Saturday, it's going to be because of the heat. 98 for the high will get up to about 106 for our heat index. Not as bad on Sunday, but still 95. And then near 90 heading through the 4th of July week with a decent chance of even more scattered showers and storms popping up each day. Cindy?